All right, warriors, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. We're going to do a breathing exercise, five seconds. It's going to take five seconds. And what we're doing is just a, a loop interrupter for now, right? For those of you new to the channel, you're probably going already. The fuck? It's not a big deal for now. But you're going to soon realize when you apply it to yourself. I'll do it in a way so that you don't forget it. Because what's more important to me is that you remember to do it when the time comes. And that's when you're being provoked. This is how you regulate your core. You take charge of that heartbeat, buck fever. As you start to progress in your understanding, mature, and your ability to go from being reactive and breathing, controlling your core, and now you respond. When you're able to do this more times than not, slowly, little by little, little by little, you're erasing that target off your back. Well, we're going to take a walk on the beach after this breathing exercise. We're going to keep it real, but I'm going to share with you the importance of why you need to operate as if giving honor to this awareness and it's your protection. You see, a part of the ego death and the shadow work, warriors. Is you had to die a little. And you had to bury that old you. This was your ego death. And it takes time to go from being clipped. I know. I know. But look at me. I just need you to catch a little bit of wind on your own sails. You know this and I know this. You'll be unstoppable. You are a self-motivating machine before this and thrived, even being sabotaged by everyone around you, even people you didn't know. you were still delivering. Now you should be excited. Because you know how they think and operate more better bestest than anyone who hasn't gone through it yet. That's why you speak a different language. That's why it's important these five seconds that we do a breathing exercise that you understand you're not doing it for me. <laughs> I'm just sharing a shortcut, my brothers and my sisters. Make no mistake. It's going to take you to control you, shed the old you, and provide yourself a loop interrupter once in a while, a hiccup, a brain fart. Convenient amnesia come in handy, don't it? <laughs> Learn how these narcissists operate now for simple application because this is all it takes to flip the script on them. Let's take a badass walk. Release slowly. All right. Shake this shit up, y'all. Look. Narcissists are already pissed because they already know that it's, it's not going to be long for, for a good bit of you now to snap out of it. They know you will. What pisses them off is they, they wanted to finish you off for this reason because you are self-motivating. You're your own worst critic. And so once I get you to realize the learning mindset you're able to categorize rumination rumination isn't something that triggers you to think something oh i'm a freak out my bottom lip shaking and shit no no 
what it does is it triggers you to a file, a data bank of experience because someone in front of you is playing childish games and you picked up. It was something in there that you picked up and laterally, simultaneously, what used to cripple you to run now gears you to observe without absorbing and realize, aha, I wish a bitch would. <laughs> now look, I know some of y'all learned the hard way. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm with you. <laughs> you go from one to another. You go from one gold digger to another one. Yeah, look. I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes you got to step on your own dick to learn. It's a hard lesson. But let me tell you, once, twice, you'll never forget after that. Warriors, this is how I want you to understand a change in how you operate. And it's a beautiful, beautiful way for you to understand that you're giving honor to the knowledge that whatever it might be that you worship bestowed onto you, no matter at what cycle you are in life. And to pay attention this way. I want you to understand the gravity of this. Carry yourself and remark and speak in such a way that even if no one's looking, you're making the best bad asterisks decisions. And if someone is looking, that you're empowering those that are wounded warriors in your midst, waiting for a droplet for you to operate as a warrior with balance and when provoked, you're able to deliver, but not keep it with you. You see, seeing it in action is a greater teacher. And you may give hope in humanity to an already broken heart. You may open up a file, a beautiful gift stored waiting for hope in humanity by your actions, by articulating yourself in such a way that it teaches. Because you understand the one being delivered the message in one ear, out the other. It's not for them. It's for those observing you. You may have given hope in humanity to the one that carries a cure for cancer. May be the one that offers a beautiful change and convinces the world to unify instead of separate and compete. You may be the one. You never know. But I know this. It sucks to live in shoulda, coulda, woulda. And when that's experienced enough after realizing how much you've been protected even in naiveness, and understand the greatest blessing is understanding how patient Yehovah is. Jah, Allah, Abba, Father. All the greatest teachers sent as if a third eye opened and a message just pours out that can only be truth. Seeing all these fine examples, aspire to ruminate on that kind of lifestyle, but with the balance to understand how to blend in today's socioeconomic and desperatious moments that are going to be coming soon. I need you to understand how to hold your ground properly, respectfully, 
and how to use the law on your side. You want a golden nugget? Anytime you report anything to the law, approach it with the angle, always understanding you're not doing it for yourself, but you feel the public at large is in threat. Report empathically, intelligently, without gearing attention toward yourself. And now you share a concern for the greater public good. You don't think anyone's going to pay attention to that? More, better, bestest? Better believe it. Warriors, narcissists teach each other the easy way. That's what they share with their kids. Because they don't want to be outdone. They're in competition. And so immediately as their kids grow and start making decisions like young adults do, they will encourage them to do more worse than they did. So they can't be convicted, you can't throw it in their face. That's that generational curse. How to get away, how to manipulate. It's kind of like this, I don't know if I've told you all the joke, but the papa bear was taking the son to learn how to hunt. This bear had some snap to him. He's got his son and they're, they're parousing through a neighborhood. Son goes, uh, what kind of hunting grounds are these, Papa? Papa Bear says, check this out. You go up to one of these doors right here. See this button? He said, you push that little booger down. Step back one foot and a delicious treat pops out. See, warriors, they don't change. All they're looking for is the next delicious treat. Wreaking havoc in their path. That snail trail won't stop until their last damn breath. They have no redeeming qualities. You had to go fishing for them. <laughs> yeah, you had to try and defend something until finally it just didn't work out. It, it just, <laughs> it's just what gonna happen no more. It's just, look, no, you, you belong in them streets. What the hell am I, what, what you fighting that for? Get your ass on out there. Earn your keep. <laughs> Warriors, that's not worth defending. That's not worth trying to protect. You know that. It's not being arrogant to understand what your worth is. Because you know how to explain it. It's narcissists can't stand the conversations. <laughs> it's up under their skin when they got nothing to offer. Warriors, take the skin game out. And the rules change. You know that. We ain't talking nonsense here. This isn't like... Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> we, we vibing, and I know it. And I thank y'all for your support. Y'all are awesome. Numero uno. Y'all are badasses. And I appreciate y'all taking this awesome walk. Allowing each other, each other the ability to be the voice of reason. And those remark sections are awesome. That's where you get your confidence. Unlike narcissists seeking false confidence. You're not the next delicious treat when someone rings that doorbell. You keep a knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> uh uh. Control the Hoover. It's never goodbye, warriors. So Always until next time. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're gonna skydive today. We're gonna leap sky of faith. Leap of faith. <laughs> hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going?
Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. <laughs> we're going to be falling at 100, 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know your TI will have your All back. Right. What right. made you want to skydive? What what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll well, be back. Jesse, All right. thank you for jumping with us to Scott oh, Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My brother! Oh, what a fun ride. Wasn't it awesome? Hey, man, glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.